Are you looking to get confidence in your trading? That's a big part of being a good trader. I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey, and today I'm going to show you how to get confidence in your algo trading. Let's get started. So, you're an algo trader. Maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you've been doing it a while, but you want to get more confidence in what you're doing because confidence is a huge part of trading successfully. So the problem with most algo trading is people are really scared of it. And when they see it, they want to run. And the reason they want to do that is because they think of high frequency trading firms and you know, you're in and out in a millisecond and that kind of thing. Well, algo trading doesn't have to be like that. You don't need millions of dollars in infrastructure and co-located servers and all this other stuff to succeed. You can algo trade at a much slower pace. And that's perfect for a retail trader. Algo trading is just another way of saying you have rules that you use to trade by. And that's where your confidence is going to come into play. Because when you have rules, and you've proven that those rules have worked historically, you can then automate the algos, let them run in the future, and you'll feel a lot more confident that they're going to work. So what do I mean by that? Well, you start out, you develop an idea right? It's some kind of candlestick pattern or an indicator you created or some kind of breakout. You have some kind of algo idea. You program the rules to buy and sell. Then you historically test it. And when you historically test it correctly, you'll get results that usually are pretty bad. Most strategies fail. And that's just the way it goes with algo trading. But the ones that pass and that pass your criteria, those you can look to trade live and to automate. And why do all this? Why is this important? Well, you don't want algo trading to be intimidating. And that's what it is for a lot of people. It's just intimidating. But when you break it down into steps like that, it's pretty easy to come up with an idea, program the rules, then you test it. That's probably the most important part. And then if it works out, then you can trade it live. And why backtest? Why is that important? Well, which would you rather trade? Would you rather trade the algo on the left that's consistently lost money if you look at past history? Or would you want to trade the one on the right, the one that's consistently made money? Now, this might seem like a trick question, but this is an important thing to think about. Of course, most people would say, hey, I want to trade the one that's made money historically. Makes sense, right? That's why you backtest. Now, it doesn't mean this is going to continue to keep working, but it does put the odds a little bit in your favor. If you have a choice between a strategy that's not worked historically and one that has worked historically, I'd have a lot more confidence trading one that has worked historically. Obviously, there's a problem here if you curve fit, if you over-optimize, because then you'll think you have a good strategy that worked historically, and really you don't. So you've got to be really careful here. But knowing that something worked historically when you test it right and you set it up right, that will give you confidence because the odds will be a little bit more in your favor. Certainly, I feel more confident trading the one on the right than I would trading the one on the left. The other part about the confidence in algo trading is you get to do all this testing yourself. And that's the tough part, of course, but you don't have to rely on some guru, somebody saying, oh, here's a signal, take my signals. You don't have to rely on a trading room 
or some Twitter feed of somebody buying and selling. You can rely on yourself. And that's important when you hit drawdowns because when you hit drawdowns, your confidence is going to kind of be shaken a little bit. And if you know you've tested things and know you've tested them right, then you're going to have confidence to keep trading them. And that's huge. It's about the only good way to trade out of a drawdown that I know of. And if you're just following a black box, for example, you're going to fall apart when there's a drawdown because you're going to lose confidence. And then, of course, the second part about confidence is you can historically test it, like I said, and that's huge. And remember, always remember the saying, past performance is not indicative of future results, meaning just because something worked in the past doesn't mean it's going to work going forward. But all things being equal, I have a lot more confidence when I know something has worked in the past. Confidence in algo trading is huge because of the drawdowns. If it was making money all the time, you wouldn't need confidence. You'd just keep trading, right? But those drawdowns are what get you. And so that's why you need that confidence. So keep that in mind as you're trading. Okay, well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll keep making more. And if you have a comment, how do you get confidence in your trading, in your algo trading. Leave a comment. Let me know. I'll read and respond to them all. I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey, and thanks for watching.